Constitutional uh, lawyer Mike Clancy uh, joins me now. He says Biden should be charged with defrauding voters for his lies during the 2020 debates. Sir, thank you for coming on. I, I want to ask I, you, your piece was fantastic. I want to ask you this, though. Do, do you think that this is a reasonable charge for Joe Biden, or are you simply saying this because of the way the DOJ is behaving towards Trump? Yeah, uh, thanks, Rob, for having me on. And, and first, let me just say, these revel recent revelations uh, prove why elections matter. If the Republicans hadn't taken control of the House, this would, the cover-up would still be on, sure. and we would not have this testimony. We would not have the whistleblowers. We would not have the emails. But yes, I think there's two things. One is they're going after Trump for defrauding voters. Biden did the same thing. There's also a federal statute, a fraud statute, that provides for honest services from our political leaders, and certainly... Biden has violated that. All the evidence shows that Biden has been corrupted in the Hunter Biden for sale. He's the brand. He's been part of these meetings. Sure. All of the denials that we've heard for five years have turned right. out to be false. Right. We have the collusion with the uh, 51 uh, former intelligence officials who spun a narrative that the Hunter laptop and the emails we're, we're all disinformation, Russian disinformation. That turned out to be all false, but it was all part of a, you know, an orchestrated conspiracy to keep the truth from the American people. And you say well, that that, yeah. that a charge that a charge yeah. could come with that, that that could be, I guess, criminal in nature. Well, I think so. With the honest services statute, uh, you know, that politicians have been prosecuted under the honest services statute for corruption. So as the evidence leads, but this is why we need an independent investigation. Yeah. It, we have to get this out of the hands of the Justice Department. We need an independent investigation. We need a special counsel to take this evidence that the, that the House Oversight Committee and Judiciary Committee have developed and go and investigate this. At the same time, as, yeah. you know, as you mentioned earlier, it's time for the Judiciary Committee to start looking at impeachment. Yeah, right. yeah. well said on that. Uh, today, the judge uh, in Florida, I want to flip it over and talk about Trump here for a moment, uh, the Florida docs case against former President Trump delivering quite a blow to Jack Smith. Uh, Eileen Cannon asking the defense to raise the possibility uh, to raise possible grand jury abuse by the DOJ for using a highly partisan, as we know, D.C. grand jury for what appears to be, you know, it's a Florida case. But you know you're going to get a very, very good grand jury if you're Jack Smith and you're trying to indict Trump in Washington, D.C. What can you tell us about this one? Yeah, I think, you know, he knows what he's doing. I mean, he prosecuted Bob McDonald, then got reversed 9 nothing by the Supreme Court, uh, former governor of Virginia. Yeah. So, you know, he's on the attack. He's going to leverage this to his advantage and to Trump's disadvantage. So absolutely, I agree. It's, it's not a great venue, and he's manipulating the process in order to take advantage of the D.C. venue. Yeah, all right. Mike Clancy, we appreciate you coming on. Great piece. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thanks, Rob. All right.